The reigning men's tennis champion here in the Northeast Conference, the Bryant Bulldogs, are back in the championship game here in 2015 with the semifinal victory over the Wagner Seahawks. Coach, let me start with you. First of all, a little bit of a challenge in that you, this is the first time we've seen you this weekend. You didn't play yesterday. You get a bye to the semis, which is great. But what were some of the challenges of you know not having any tennis under your belt before coming and playing today? Well, we typically play our best when we're a little fatigued. So we did a, a double session yesterday. We worked pretty hard. We scheduled a match. Thursday with NC State. So, you know, we came in a little bit tired, prepared. Um, and and I, I think over the, over the course of the last two years, this team plays its best tennis when it's a little bit run down. Um, and uh, it, it was, today was a great day. We played extremely well. Wagner is an amazing team. Their coach has done a great job starting six freshmen. Um, but, you know, we started four freshmen. So, you know, it's really, it's a great sign of how far the NEC has come. And where it's going and uh, you, know, you know it's we're just really proud to be a part of it and happy to be back in the finals. You saw Wagner last weekend that, uh, but different lineup here today for you guys but what was uh, besides the lineup some of the differences um, from the team uh, today rather than last week? Well I, I don't know they they just outplayed us that day I mean you know you can't take anything away from that win they deserved it they got it and you know wins against us in conference don't come very often. I mean, I think we're like 20 and four or something like that. You know, that was a hats off to them. They had a great win against us and, um, you know, no excuses. They deserved it. They earned it. And, you know, likewise today we, we really took it to them. We, we took it away from them, which was something we were trying to do. And what does it say about the depth of your team? The fact that, you know, it's not just one or two guys at the top. It's the entire team coming through and contributing. Well, our, our whole department, Bill Smith, you know, they encouraged me to run a program the way that I would like to run a program. Um, and I, I like a large team. I, I like the camaraderie of it. I think it has a unique feel to it. Um, and we have a lot of really good players that contribute in a lot of different ways. Uh, and it's a challenge, but it's, um, it's something we embrace as a group and we talk about regularly. And um, I think it makes us better in the end. And Zach, coming off the match against Wagner last week, um, how important was it for not just you, but for the entire team to kind of set the tone right out of the get-go in the doubles and win that doubles point? It was extremely important. It was vital, actually. Uh, we wanted to get off on the right foot because last time they did beat us in doubles. So we had to uh, fight, and we really wanted to win that point, get us started. And uh, once we got it, we all started rolling in all cylinders. We were playing great, and I think everyone on every court did a great job. So uh, I'm really proud of the team, and I'm, I'm happy to be part of it. There was one point in particular for you where it looked like the ball was going to go long and then you, you thought about letting it go, but then you went back and played. You know, so it, it's just like, you know, you got that point. So it, it, would that kind of things like that kind of let you know that, hey, this is my day here today? Well, don't jinx me now. But, yeah, you know what? Uh, that was pretty, it was pretty nice. And Coach kept saying, you know, this is your court, your time. And, you know what, I'm a senior and I feel really confident. I think I'm peaking right now. And, you know what? It, everyone's playing great. It's a great thing, and uh, I think the team really, really has uh, gotten a lot better and has improved improved in the last four years since I've been here. I'm just I'm really happy and excited to step foot in our third uh, final against who knows FDU or St. Francis. But I'm just happy uh, to be here, and this is our last my last time. So hopefully, I could come home with victory uh, with the victory again, and uh, you know see. Uh, see what the future holds you mentioned you're the, you're the old guy now you've seen it you've seen it all so you know a bunch of veterans combined with all this youth we mentioned the deep team um so with the roster that you're bringing into the final tomorrow regardless of who's it against you have to feel confident in your chance to defend your title right uh yeah we feel pretty confident our team this year has gotten a lot better the freshmen starting four out of six are uh, is incredible i mean they, they've really adapted to the team and really uh, gotten close and it's it's awesome they're playing great and uh, coaches developing them and you know they're really really uh, adapting to the bulldog lifestyle and I really think that uh, we can we can do some damage tomorrow and especially them it's really nice to have the the upperclassmen and lowerclassmen working together you know for the same goal so it's a good thing well, congratulations to you, Coach. Congratulations. And we look forward to seeing the Bulldogs back here against either FDU or St. Francis in the championship game tomorrow afternoon.